hello you welcome to my channel in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the for and the while loop so without wasting time i'll create a new script and i'll just save it as loops okay so what's a loop a loop is just a way of doing something over and over and over something that repeats itself that we had to do it more, more than 10 times you can just set the loop to do it over and over and over giving it a particular condition so i will take care of the for loop and after i also look at the while loop so let's see how we can declare the for loop the for loop goes like for and then we declare some arbitrary um variable i'll call it i equals then the beginning so we'll start from one to ten and then what we want to do we are just going to display um the index of the i so we are just going to print the i out we're going to say display and then say i and then let's end the for so remember that always you are supposed to end the for so what are we doing here say for i is equal to one and then i starting from one to ten so in matlab when you have anything like one is to ten this is equivalent to having one two three four four five six seven seven eight nine and then ten so this is a vector okay and this is also a vector so basically this loop is going to work in this way first it will initialize i to equal to one and then now it will step into the loop and then do what it says so i is equal to one it will just print one out then after doing everything that is in the loop it is going to add one to i and then now set i to be equal to two it will come over again and then print the value of i which will be two in the second case it will add one to it again and then so it will keep on going on and on and on until it gets the last value from the vector so let's just run the program and then see how um, this works so i run the program and right now you can see from here we have one true to ten so exactly what i was talking about it went over and did it repeatedly so you you ask how is this important in programming for example you can just build a two times table from this all i have to do is to do i multiplied by two okay the moment i do this i'm going to build a two times table so you see we have multiples of two so at the first inter instance i was equal to one and it's multiplied it by two second instance i was equal to two and it's multiplied it by two so it did that over and over and over until it got to the last end or which was 10. so we can equally uh, make this place 12 so that we can end on the 12. so when we run it you can see right here that we have 24. so we did it over and over and over without us having to repeat the code so many times so we can do this with the while loop too so the for loop is a more compact form of the while loop for the with the while loop we have to control everything ourselves so let's see how we can also use the while loop before using the while loop we are supposed to have a counter okay just like the i but in this case we'll have to declare it first so we say counter is equal to one and now we say while this how to declare the while say while counter is less or equal to what 12 so this loop is going to go over and over and over until um, counter is equal to 12 what do we want to do we just want to display um, counter times what 2 so we just want multiples of 2 and don't forget to end your how so when we leave the loop this way the loop is going to go over and over and over and counter will never be equal to 12 so it's going to leave us with an infinite loop to avoid this we will have to increment counter ourselves so now you can see counter is equal to one so at the first instance it's going to be one and if you don't increment it by ourselves it's going to keep on the loop forever and ever so to avoid this we say counter is equal to counter plus one what does this mean this means whatever counter is just add one to it and store it back into counter so at the first run counter will be equal to one after displaying it will add one to counter and then store it back into counter so counter will be equal to two so it will do this over and over and over so let's print out the results and then see if they are the same 
so as you can see here we have the first loop which is the four starting from two towards 24 and then this is coming from the while so from two towards 24 so this is how to basically use um the for loop and then the while loop and it's very easy to use just practice a little bit and then you get hold of it thank you for watching please if you like the video subscribe and then comment